going to the NBA. Uh, I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. Well, I think it's been a dream of mine ever since I was born, really. <laughs> I think I kind of inherited it. I just always wanted to play basketball. My mother always tells me, um, she can remember the time when my father was playing on TV, and I'm sitting at home watching the game, uh, about three, four years old, and I'm sitting there playing while he's playing. Then when there's a timeout, I take a timeout, and I'm sitting there drinking my water, Gatorade, or whatever. Then when play resumes, I'm back playing again. So she says it's always been there. Just by me going through about what he's about to go through, I think there's some concerns about, uh, you know, just the peer pressure of wanting to be accepted. And that doesn't have to be the NBA. It also can be just in life. So, you know, we're worried about how he's going to, you know, to deal with that. But, uh, but as I said, you know, it's the same in any business or any profession, other profession that you choose. If I don't make this jump, I'm going to be thinking about it for the rest of my life. When I'm 40 years old, I'm going to be thinking, hey, Man, what, what, what could I have done if I would have made that jump? What kind of player would I have been? What kind of player would I have become? If I would have went to college, went to, went to the NBA, been a superstar, or maybe a mediocre player, whatever, four years from now, I'm, I'm still thinking to myself, man, if I would have made that jump, would I be able to do the things that I've done? And that, that's something that, really, that was really bothering me. I didn't want that to bother me. So it was a challenge. I accepted it, and I, I'm going to go from here.